to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and who do I think most deserves a drink this week? Well, it's everyone's favorite Kardashian, at least mine, Khloe Kardashian, you guys. Okay, now I just got caught up on the celebrity news because I've been busy watching actual news. Khloe Kardashian just had her little baby, and it turns out at the same exact time, her boyfriend or fiance or whatever, Tristan, was fucking cheating on her with some Instagram hoes. And I know that I've had my fair share of making fun of the Kardashians. It's fine, that's what they want us to do. Without making fun of them, they would be irrelevant. My hair's getting crazy and I don't like it. Okay, oh here, let's do this. Let's just sweep it to the side, sweep it to the side. Don't, 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 don't you sweep it to the side, Chloe. Chloe's my favorite. She's the one I actually wanna get drinks with. I think she's the most down to earth. I think she's the funniest. And even if she was just a pile of fucking rocks, with lip injections and a wig on, no one deserves to be cheated on. Especially when she was probably literally crowning with this guy's fucking baby as he's motorboating some random in a hotel bar. I think Chloe deserves a drink and I think Tristan deserves his comeuppance. So today we're going to make a Chloe and Tristan revenge martini. Apparently Kylie always thought there was something a little stormy in their relationship, but you know how gossip is. Sometimes it's just lip service. Uh huh. For this drink, all you're gonna need is breakup juice, Cointreau, or another orange liqueur. Liquor? <laughs> Probably did that, that just wasn't on tape. Half a lemon. Chloe knows how to pick some lemons, <laughs> you know what I mean? And canned lychees. So help me God, Kendall, if you try to go up in there and just make the both of them drink a Pepsi, I'm gonna lose my shit. To a shaker full of ice, add a bunch of fucking vodka. Especially if you aren't breastfeeding. Girl, just go for it. When Kim was asked about the whole scenario, she said, I'm sorry, are we talking about my newest perfume? Cause this shit stinks. <laughs> I haven't smelled it. Then squeeze in one half of a lemon-ish. When Caitlyn Jenner was asked for comment, she said, uh, excuse me, I don't mean to meddle in Courtney's business, but there can only be one dick athlete in this fam, okay? Add about a two count of orange liqueur. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open your can of lychees. Speaking of an opener, I'm actually doing a show this Thursday at Zany's in Nashville. Come on, come see me. The 19th, come hug me, come laugh with me. Let's all heal together. I'd like to be a leech E on Chloe's can. I don't want to suck her blood. I'm just saying she has a really great ass that one would want to be stuck to, Tristan. Add about a two count of the lychee juice to your shaker. Scoop. Big sister Courtney apparently said, great Scott, that is the sickest bastard I've ever heard of. He's terrible, right guys? Please don't judge me if I get back with Scott Disick. Then shake it up. <music> Boom. Now here's where the real visuals come in. Said me, about 20 minutes after taking mushrooms. <laughs> Take a toothpick or a kebab or any other sort of puncturing unit. And then we're gonna take two lychees, these fleshy, skin-colored things that hold nuts. We're gonna just stab right through them for our garnish. I don't know what that reminds you guys of, but I'm excited to chomp into them. Top it off, ooh, with your delicious, well-deserved, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Chloe and Tristan Revenge Martini, cheers. Now that tastes like a libation worthy of castration. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm only gonna have one sip of this because I am on a detox. Because even though it's sweet and uh, it makes me feel really good, I gotta remember that it's ultimately bad for me and detox occasionally to get things out of my system. Chloe, this is what we call a metaphor. Thank you for watching You Deserve a Drink. Again, I'm Mamrie Hart. And remember, the best part about why dad is built in drinking game. So make your delicious revenge martini. Rewatch this and drink every time I make a terrible Chloe or Tristan pun or joke or whatever. Now I am off to go watch the actual news. Don't be distracted. <laughs> 
Seriously though, Nashville, I'm gonna be in your city at Zany's next Thursday the 19th at the Nashville Comedy Festival and everyone else is like Tim Allen and Weird Al and Jeff Dunham and Andrew Dice Clay and all these fucking really famous comedians and me. Make me feel less intimidated. <laughs> When Kim was asked for a comment, she said, oh, this isn't about me? I don't care.